Hey everybody, this is Geneva of Geneva's Closet Talk Show. Please make sure you like and share this video and subscribe to Geneva's Closet if you haven't already done so right here on YouTube. And you can follow me on Facebook at what? At Geneva's Closet. And you can email me at Geneva's Closet 22 at gmail.com. Now, let's get into the news. Did you all hear this story about five-year-old Nevaeh Adams? My people were sending me these articles saying that she was missing and an Amber Alert had not been put out for her. And when I read the articles, it kind of reminded me of the Malia Davis and Brittany Bowens and Darion Vince situation. And it says, the search for a five-year-old girl whose mother was found slain in her Sumter apartment Monday night has shifted to a recovery effort now that officers think she was killed with her mother by an acquaintance. Based on information provided Monday by the suspect, charged with murder in connection to the death of 29-year-old Sheree Bradley, who was found inside her residence at Latanya Apartments by a family member, Sumter Police Department officers, area law enforcement agencies, and other resources searched throughout the night until Tuesday morning. They will continue to search until the body of Nevaeh Lashie Adams is located. The suspect, Dante Maurice Johnson, 28, also known as Dante Johnson, who was considered trans was seen fleeing the location off Carolina Avenue where Bradley's body was found Monday just after 6 p.m. He was later located by police at a residence in a nearby neighborhood and taken into custody. During the course of an interview with police, Johnson said he killed Bradley with whom he was acquainted and her daughter. He also provided information that could help police locate her according to the officer for the police department a preliminary investigating investigation by the Sumter County Coroner's Office determined Bradley had been dead for several hours before she was found. Based on information gathered by investigators at the police department, they think Adams was killed during the same time frame as her mother. Officers also working to learn more about the suspect. He has a criminal record in other states and is a suspect in the Missouri homicide. Johnson is being held in the Sumter County County Sheriff's Office Detention Center on a murder charge. A first appearance hearing is pending. The Sumter County Law Enforcement Division was notified about the girl being missing, but because there was no abduction and due to other factors that they didn't say what the other factors were, the case did not meet the criteria for an Amber Alert. Here's the update to this sad story dated for August 7th, and it says, Police said Johnson told detectives he dumped Nevaeh's body in a trash bin at a Sumter apartment complex Monday after killing her and her 29-year-old mother, Sheree Bradley. Authorities said the bin had been unloaded by a trash truck before reports of Bradley's death and Nevaeh's disappearance first surfaced. Authorities were searching Wednesday through 46,000 pounds of garbage in Richland and Sumter counties, Sumter Police Chief Russell said. Rorick told reporters police were also searching other areas for signs of Nevaeh. We keep hope that perhaps she's still alive. We're going to continue to search. We're going to continue to, to take information. But based on what we know now, based on the information he's provided us, she would be deceased. I usually try to give my opinion about my stories, these stories, these articles, these murders, these, all of these things. But I really don't even have a whole lot to say on this situation. I mean, it's starting to get really redundant at this point because it constantly keeps happening. About the, I guess the only thing I can say is at least he told what he did to Nevaeh, actually told the truth. I mean, I don't know. It's just a shame. Like, why does it keep happening? You know, like, I have a hard enough time if I see a squirrel or ducks walking in the street i'm like stopping or trying to go around them and 
you know, but people are so easily just killing people, stabbing people, shooting people, and it doesn't matter whether it's a mass murder or whether it's an individual murder, you're killing your kids, you're killing your people that's not your kids, you're killing your girlfriends, your wives, your pregnant girlfriends, your nieces, your nephews, your cousins, your parents, your grandparents, the neighbor, the person down the street for no reason, you got a reason, you got a motive, I don't know what the motive is, you're telling the truth, you're not telling the truth, it don't even matter at this point, it's just wild. It's wow, and all you can say is, why is these things happening? That's why when people be trying to do that, heal the world, make it a better place, I ain't even going. I ain't even going, because things seem to me to be getting worse before it's getting better. Now, you let me know if you see something different going on. About the only thing you can do at this point is try to protect you and your own, teach you and your own, and, and pray to make sure that when you step out in these streets or when you interacting with these people, at some point they don't snap and do something to you or your own. You know what I mean? Your family, your friends, and then next thing you know, you going to a funeral or you on the news or I'm doing an article about you and your situation or me and my situation. You know what I'm saying? I, look, look. I don't know people. Well, anyway, like I would normally say, I really would like to know how you feel about the situation. And while you're letting me know, could you please like and share this video and subscribe to Geneva's Closet if you haven't already done so or right here on YouTube. And you can follow me on Facebook at what? At Geneva's Closet. And you can email me at Geneva's Closet 22 at gmail.com. You all have a fabulous day and I will talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>